We are going to look at Lesson 118 and 119 in our textbook, and this is really more about using formulas again than necessarily needing to do these concepts more, because um, you, you may not even see this again. But the idea of taking formulas and pulling information out of problems and plugging it in and, and solving it will be done over and over and over. So really this lesson is much more about how to use formulas accurately and correctly than it necessarily is about the Fahrenheit and the Celsius. So you have two formulas you need to write down somewhere. Um, I should have told you in the beginning to get your textbooks and get some notebook paper and pencils out and I would recommend getting your calculator out because of these weird fractions. Five over nine and nine over five are going to be used and um, <clears throat> phone calculators are fine for like one half or a fraction that can simplify down into an easy decimal but five over nine is not necessarily one of those so um, if you have not gotten those out yet get your textbook get your pencils get some paper and um, write these down so if you are trying to find this cel a celsius temperature um, then you're going to need this one this is celsius and it equals all of this loveliness and then this is your Fahrenheit and you're going to have that beautiful formula. So let me kind of show you how we're going to use this. So get that written down on the top of your paper so you have that. Um, if you have your textbook out they are written in those two lessons um, so you can just sort of flip back and forth if you'd rather do that. So your first problem we're going to look at tells you to convert 50 degrees Celsius, no, 50 degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius. So since we are wanting to find what Celsius is, we're wanting to convert Fahrenheit to Celsius, we're going to use the Celsius equals equation or formula. And that is Fahrenheit minus 32 times 5 over 9. Who made this up? I have no idea, but that's what it is. All right. So, <coughs> excuse me. We are told to convert 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So this is what we're going to use for F. We're going to just plug that into our formula. And then we just solve this. Make sure you use order of operations. So inside my parentheses first, 50 minus 32 is 18. And then 18 times 5 over 9 simplifies to 10 degrees. And y'all, that's it. If you have these formulas, these are really, really easy. The next one I want us to look at is converting 50 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit. So since we are wanting to find Fahrenheit, we're going to use our Fahrenheit formula. And again, we're just going to plug in this value for Celsius into where Celsius goes. So 50 degrees times 9 over 5 plus 32 degrees. And that little circle there is a degree symbol. Don't get that confused with um, a zero. And actually, when I write these out on paper, I don't ever put that um, little degree symbol down because my handwriting is wild and crazy and I get distracted a lot. And so I don't put it there so I don't get confused. All right. You've simply plugged in your Celsius degrees. And now we're just going to use order of operations to solve. So we've got to multiply. 50 times 9 over 5 is 90. 90 plus 32 is 122. And that is the answer. So these are pretty simple. As long as you have these formulas written down somewhere, you're going to be totally fine to do this for your homework. Um, and actually your homework is, and these are on, what is it, lesson 116 and 117, but I would write these down. Um, it's 118 and 119, I'm sorry. These are in your textbook on those lessons, but if I, I would write them down so I'd have them. And then your homework is number one and two off of lesson 118 and 119. You're going to do both one and two, so the classwork and activity two, on both lessons 118 and 119.